It is a storm alert day here on Up With Creme. Our team is spread out across the region to help you prepare for the day ahead. Good morning, I'm Tim Pham. And I'm Channing Curtis. Now, like Tim mentioned, we do have team coverage all morning long here on Up With Creme. We have our very own Cody Proctor who is joining us this morning. She's in Spokane right now checking to see how the plows are out and how they're moving out across the city. That's right, and we also have Nicole Hernandez live in our mobile storm tracker this morning, giving us a vantage point of what things look like in North Idaho. We also have meteorologist Jerry Jeremy Lagoo in the Outdoor Weather Center. Jeremy, you prepared us for this day all week and it's finally here. How much more snow can we expect to see? Oh, I think we are not even close to being done with this one just yet. We're going to hang on to the snow for another few hours. And as you can see, it's still coming down and it's still coming down pretty good. Yesterday, you saw me clear off this whole thing and well, look at it now. Quite a bit of snow. Now, given there is a little bush under here, but we're still talking a few inches already on the ground this morning and more snow continuing to fall. Here in town, we're looking at temps in the mid 20s with snow. Wind chill at about 18 with the wind out of the north northeast at just six miles per hour. But across the region, it's those winter storm mornings in place for some serious snow. Six to 10 inches if you're off to the north. 4 to 7 in central Washington and 5 to 9 along Interstate 90 from Spokane to Coeur d'Alene. Still looking at about 4 to 7 down in the Palouse. We are talking major impacts from this snow storm. Now, it's widespread snow. We're going to get in a little spot of a little bit lighter snow, and that's going to start first in central Washington, but then continuing to spread its way through the inland northwest. And as we head into the morning, just expect the snow to continue. Eight o'clock hour, we're looking at the snow still coming down for us here in basically, I would say more widespread, the eastern third of Washington, all of North Idaho. And then by nine, we'll start to see that start to turn into scattered showers. Those scattered showers will take us through the 10 o'clock hour before we catch a bit of a break as our next round of moisture starts moving its way in. So we're kind of in the snow all day long on and off after the morning commute. But right now I'm thinking we stay steady snow right through the morning commute. Tonight, warm weather moves in and we're watching that snow turn over to rain. But for now, it's snow. No worry about the rain just yet as temperatures are still close to 20 degrees. And even as they rise throughout the day, we're topping out near 30 later on this afternoon. Breaking news at 603 in the last few minutes. We just learned that Spokane Public Schools is on a two hour delay this morning, as well as several school districts across the region. You can see them all across uh, your screen here and scrolling at the bottom of your screen and on creme.com. So we know that a lot of school districts are making out this decision on whether to close or delay right now. So we'll be sure to bring you the very latest as they come in. Also, you can text the word school to the number 509-448-2000. All right, now you are taking a look at a number of flight cancellations and delays happening right now at the Spokane International Airport. Two of the three flights scheduled to depart in the next hour have been delayed or canceled. We are also seeing a number of flights in the 7 a.m. hour to Las Vegas, Portland, Seattle, and San Diego being canceled or delayed. If you do have a flight today, the airport recommending that you check in with your airline before leaving home. And of course, give yourself plenty of time to drive to the airport. Now also breaking this morning, Snoqualmie Pass is closed in both directions. They're monitoring the conditions there and at noon today we will determine when the pass will reopen. Stevens Pass is also closed this morning. So like right now, let's go ahead and get a live look at some of the roads in our area. Let's take a look. This is 395 in Market Street. As you can see right now, still very heavy snow conditions in our area. If you take a look here at these cars that are moving across this way, you can't see any of the lanes yet. Cars are moving along pretty slowly and I know it's still early in the morning. It's just past six o'clock, but that means that you won't be able to see lanes anywhere when you're driving, especially on these major interstates. So this is I-90 right now, closer to in the Spokane area is I-90 and Sprague. And as you can see, they, you actually see some plows out here right now, which is always good news. You can see actually see lanes right here. Traffic is still moving along very, very slowly this morning. You definitely want to be pretty careful if you're going to have to get out on I-90. So let's take another look right here. This is I-90 in Flora right now. Traffic is actually moving along a lot more steadily along this way as the hours progress. That means more and more people are going to be getting out. So it's a good and a bad thing. That means more cars are on the road, so that can be a good and a bad thing. But that also means that more people have gone through the roads and traveled across them, which will allow for more travel lanes. You can see a little bit more, a little bit more visibility. But if you are heading out this morning, whether it's to work or even if you're going out to school with those schools that are on delays, just give yourself some extra time. As all of us had to drive in this morning, we can all 
attest to the fact that the roads are still pretty slick out. Spokane City Streets Department expecting to shift to a 24 7 full city plow and that will happen once the snowfall reaches four or more inches. If and when the city activates a full city plow, you can monitor your street and when it will be cleared. You're taking a live look at the map right now. Of course, it's not activated yet, so that means everything's purple and purple means that they're just working or monitoring those streets. If it turns green, that means the road is complete, while blue means they're working on it and red means it's coming up next. When the plows are on the roads, city officials are asking you to park on the odd side of the street. In downtown Spokane, on the street parking side of things, you are asked to not park between midnight and 6 a.m. Well, this morning you will see snow plows out on the roads. Creme 2's Cody Proctor is at the Geiger Snowplow Barn as WashDOT crews make their way to the roads this morning. And Cody, I know they were out very early to make sure the morning commute is as good as they can make it. That's exactly right, Tim. Tim. Plows have been out here for already for a few hours, just taking care of those roadways. And it's been a very busy start already to our morning, helping us get prepared for the day as we start to get ready to head out on the roads as well, wherever you're heading this morning, whether that's work or another destination. Now, I'm actually here right now with Ryan Overton with the Washington State Department of Transportation, who has been keeping us updated with what's happening outside. What's the latest information you can tell us? Well, we mentioned earlier it's a challenge. It continues to remain that way. Most roads compact snow and ice, a few more slide offs as traffic starts to increase. We've got a couple incidences going on. Uh, one just uh, west of here on I-90 eastbound. Looks like the, the right lane is blocked uh, with a semi truck that's kind of off to the side, but still partially blocking the lane. And then Sunset Hill uh, coming west out of Spokane. Coming up the hill looks like it's been a challenge this morning. Uh, a couple of trucks look like they were pulled off to chain up just to get up the hill. So. It's slow out there. Mm -hmm. Now, in our last half hour, we were talking about plows and needing to give them plenty of room if you're driving behind them. But already this season, we have seen why that is such a big deal. Yeah, we had a plow strike earlier this year um, out on 395, just south of Ritzville. Driver was doing 35 miles an hour uh, plowing the roadway, and someone coming up behind was going too fast and slid right back into the back of them. Luckily, the damage was so minor, the truck was able to remain in service. But a lot of times what we see and what we saw last year is we had a couple of plow strikes and those trucks were immediately taken out of service for repairs. Um, they can't be driven and that's one less plow on the road. So that's why we want people to give us so much space, not only for your safety, but our driver's safety keeps us on the road, gives us space to clear it and we're all trying to get to our destination safely. So just give us room out there. Mm -hmm. And as a reminder for people as they head out this morning, how much space are we talking about? If you can't see each side of the mirrors, you're too close. Mm -hmm. So just back off. We've also got a lot of snow that we're pushing, so that creates a bit of a white cloud coming off the side of the, pal uh, the plow, kind of the curl and then the snow spray makes it, uh, visibility even more difficult for our crews. So just leave them plenty of space. If you're in that snow curl, you're probably too close. Good to know this morning, especially as people start to head out the door. We've been watching the traffic out here on Interstate 90, especially some of the incidents on the roadway. Ryan, thank you so much Absolutely. for joining us this morning. We'll continue to keep track of the latest developments as we get you started for your morning. And as the snow continues to fall down, I got to say it's still coming down pretty hard at this time. Reporting live near the Spokane Airport, Cody Proctor, Creme 2 News. Cody, thanks so much for that update and big thanks to all of our road crews out there working to make sure the roads are as safe as they can be. Well, road crews across the state lines also working today, preparing the roads for the snow. That's right. So this morning, Nicole Hernandez and our Crim2 Storm Tracker are in North Idaho. So Nicole, we know you've been driving. You drove from Spokane to that area. So how are the road conditions over there? In Channing, Tim, the roads are very slick, very slippery, very dangerous. We are driving incredibly slow for the freeway speeds that, you know, normally you should be driving 70 miles per hour out here. We're going less than 40, so I'll give you a look right here at just how snow covered the roads are. So when we were driving here, we did see washed up plows uh, on obviously the Washington side of state line. Uh, once we got over this side, though, the roads do look like they have been plowed, but still snow continues coming down, uh, making it hard to see as we're driving. Uh, we've had 
windshield wipers. They've been full of ice a few times, made it very difficult to see this morning. Our photographer Nate is driving right now. He says that he's really not hitting anything above 40 miles per hour because anytime he does, he starts to slip and slide. And you know, you can just feel that when you're driving around here. So we are trying to get to mile marker post 28. We've been driving since about 420 this morning. So we're coming up on about two hours of driving here. And obviously to get somewhere that should not take you that long to get to. So going slow this morning, but Coeur d'Alene did prepare for this heavy snow yesterday. So we uh, talked to the director of streets in Coeur d'Alene about what they did to prepare. Keep in mind that we, arterials, collectors and hills are our first priority. Uh, if we get up to eight inches and we have to plow those more, more than once, we do not start in our uh, residential neighborhoods until the arterials and collectors are in good shape. Now, of course, like he mentioned, uh, they will go through, make sure arterials are good, but that full city should start at three inches in Coeur d'Alene. So are expecting to hit that marker and start that. So that. All right, Nicole Hernandez reporting from North Idaho this morning. Of course, our team coverage continues all morning long. In the meantime, let's get to Jeremy with the one thing to know about today's weather. We think we can guess, Jeremy. Did you guess? Did you guess? I gave you time. Oh, no. it's snow. We've got tons of snow on the ground already. We're talking inches very widespread across the state. Many places already waking up to more than three inches of snow on the ground and that snow still coming down here in Spokane. We're expecting about five to nine inches of it by the time it comes to an end. There's enough snow on the roads for me to take the skis into work this morning. Let us know how your commute's going by texting 509-448-2000. All right, Jeremy said it best. We want to see what it looks like outside your window. Text us your snow photos, and hopefully you don't have to ski into work today. This man is so extra. <laughs> <laughs> he really skied into work he today? He did. <laughs> oh, Jeremy, we love you. Well, for the latest forecast and how you can prepare for the snow, you can text the word snow to the number 509 448 2000 more up with creme team coverage coming up next.